three, two, one. Happy New Year! Just kidding. Just kidding. It's you not thought for like a month and a half. You thought that woo, 40, 45, 45 days just zoomed by right there. It didn't. <laughs> you were still stuck in 2018. Coffee. Whether that's good or bad. <laughs> Coffee. Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to Breakfast Stream. Hope you're having a good day. I think on Tuesday was a little dreary. It's dreary again. It's just as dreary now. Although yesterday we had some like, we had some like pretty good weather. Mm. It was chilly. It was very chilly. But it's winter. It's winter, man. That's just how it's gonna be. But it, it wasn't like this. This is all like, meh. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice. Is it? And we got fire ant nests to take care of. Yeah. Yeah, that's not really something you associate with winter, but uh, we gotta deal with it. There's a big old nest in the backyard. And I'm just like, that's a problem. We need to take care of that. Um, so, uh, yes, yeah, last night was not um, last night was not super great for us in terms of sleep. Uh, I uh, we we went to bed on time. We went to bed by midnight, and uh, I was excited about that. I was like, cool, this is great, this is good, wonderful. We went to bed at midnight. Everything's good, and um, we slept until. I slept until five. Yeah. At which point, um, I woke up to use the bathroom, and I couldn't go back to sleep. See, I fell asleep for forty-five minutes, and then woke up and was up for like four or five hours. Fun. So. So we're both a little sleep deprived. Yeah. Opposite reasons, because you couldn't sleep. You couldn't sleep at the beginning, and I couldn't sleep at the end. Mm-hmm. That's fun. Yeah. Shout out to uh, to everyone who couldn't sleep last night. We are uh, we're on the same wavelength. Um, yeah. This is uh, I, I'm, I see so many people Good asking. Part. This is pesto toast. We bought some um, we bought some pesto uh -huh. to do the margarita pizza, and uh, on the jar it's like, hey, use this within a few days when you open the jar. And I was like, really? I thought pesto was good for like ever. Apparently it's not. It's not like honey. So uh, so I was like, alright, I'll use some of it on the toast. And Mao, Mao's had so much concern over this. I don't know. She's like, it's not going to be good. And I'm like, how is it not going to be good? Toast is like a base. Like, you can't mess up toast. You can. You can't mess up toast. Like, I'm just, like, as a as a normal thing. Like, pesto, like, uh, like toast has, like, zero flavor. It just tastes like bread. You can put stuff on it. That's why we invented sandwiches and pizza. So, and I like pesto, so I don't know why this would be bad. I don't know. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see. So it smells like pesto, pesto on toast. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. It's good. Opera Bubbles has the right idea. Pesto is delicious. It's true, man. You can put anything on toast. I mean, some things maybe you shouldn't. No, that's not something you do. <laughs> but like, most anything. You can put most anything. Savory breakfast is good breakfast. Thank you, NDL. It's, um, it is. It's good stuff. I like it. I think it's fine. Okay, well... I have never done this before, but I think it's I think it's great. I think we may have started a new breakfast revolution. Um, I won't be partaking. This would be good with like um. Setsy says at least Mel will be stealing it today. <laughs> I figured it out. I just have to load it with pesto, and you won't touch it. I'll just throw it outside. Oh, cool! Like you could put um. We were talking yesterday. You could put like garlic powder and cheese on it, if you wanted to amp it up a little bit. This is good just as is, man. Pesto for breakfast, who knew? But now we do, and I'm, I'm a pretty big fan. Anyway, let's, uh, let's read some of the early stuff that we got going on here. We got some subscriptions that happened between episodes. Uh, subscriptions from Jabberman, Waffle7272, Merciful Warrior, Cormond, uh, Rian74, those were the ones that happened between. <laughs> between. Thank you for the subscriptions. 
And then uh, starting from this morning, we got a, uh, we got, oh, <laughs> It's Omega Cyborg, but my brain wants to read it as Omega Cyborg, which I think is fine too. Omega Cyborg does it again. Um, so does Aegis 10 doing it again. Cosmic Surf says time to do it again. Uh, Rianne, how did, wait, Rianne subscribed and resubscribed? I don't understand how Twitch works. Rianne does it again. Alxime does it again, says good morning. We got uh, Krasig doing it again. Pesto is awesome any time of day. I think so, and I think this proves it. The only thing that would be difficult at this point to prove is gonna be dinner. Or not dinner, uh, dessert. Dinner's the easy one. Um, if you could work pesto into a dessert, then the circle of life is complete, and I guess we can all die. That's what we've been trying to, you know, work out as a human race for a long time. Uh, King Twinkle Stars also does it again. Thank you all. And then we also have some bits this morning. As I scroll back down. You got 300 Too bits. Far. 300 bits from uh, Celestial uh, Kamachi. It's breakfast. Or Celestia Takamachi. It's not Celestial Kamachi. But that was close. Toast for the Toast Gods. Coffee for the Coffee Gods. It's very important to not switch up your, <laughs> your sacrifices to gods. If you give the Coffee God toast... It's gonna be a bad day. Thank you, Celestia. Um, we've also got uh, 100 bits from Campbell Soup. Hooray for the first breakfast stream. Welcome, welcome. There's people that are still, you know, um, in like coming to their first breakfast stream, they're experiencing their first one. So uh, Campbell Soup, it's it's nice to have you. And uh, Campbell says that usually in school, but roads are so bad, it was called off. I mean, that's like bad. For education, but good for you, and also you get to enjoy waffles, which I think is, is worth it. We got 500 bits from Existential Joker. <laughs> Cheers for the pesto toast. Weird, but tasty. It really is fine. Like, I know that people are have been a little freaked out about it, but honestly, there's no problems here. A few minutes ago, someone did ask if you buttered the uh, toast first. No. No. There was no. enough oil in the pesto that... And also, butter is like, it's not good for you. <laughs> Butter, butter is like the single biggest like cholesterol thing where I'm like, I'm not gonna touch that. But uh, yeah, this is just straight up pesto on toast. Cool. That's it. Uh, Existential Joker, cool. thank you. Uh, and we've got uh, 1,060 bits from Will Bain. Thank you, Will. It's a very specific number, um, but it also indicates to us that it is breakfast, 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 breakfast. And uh, also a resubscription from Jolteon Ultra, who has done it again. And these, this is the early portion of the the alert readings. <laughs> I'm gonna now go back to eating this toast. Oh, Mal, I had a dream last night. What on? I was awake and you were sleeping. Well, no, probably not. It was probably in that small section where we were both sleeping. Mm. But um. It was right before, well, I mean, when I woke up to go to the bathroom at five, mm -hmm. I was like, man, that was a weird dream. I'll have to tell Mal about it later. So I'm, I'm telling you now. Um, the dream was, we were at a Magic the Gathering event. I'm not sure what event it was. I don't know if it was just like a Friday Night Magic. There's a lot of people there, so I'm inclined to say it was like some sort of game day or mm -hmm. something. And... Um, it was absolutely taking place at their old comic shop, so not Player's oh, Choice. Oh, like their first location? No, no, it was just... I don't know for sure that it was their comic shop. Okay. I just... I get the impression based on how things were run. Mm. If that makes sense, it wasn't the physical location. Okay. But I remember there was um, there was a lot of people there. There was probably like 40 or so people that came out for this, this game day. Mm -hmm. And um, they were doing... They, they were supposed to be doing the signups, yeah. But they didn't do the signups, mm -hmm. like you know. Normally, for one of these things, they have like a sheet up, and you go and you write like your name and your DCI number. That's yeah. it. In the dream, they hadn't done that, and the event should have like started. And um, the owner was like, "Steven, hey, can you like get everyone signed up? I gotta go in the back and take care of a thing." Will's here and says, "Dreaming about apocalypse." <laughs> William, morning. Um, kind of. So, so the owner goes in the back, and I was like, uh, okay. And then everyone's looking at me to, like, 
sign people up. Yeah, and like I don't, I can't run the computers or any of that stuff. So I just like, I have a piece of paper in my hand, like a, a clipboard, and I'm like, so who's who's here to to play uh, magic? And like everyone's standing there, and they're like, yeah. and I'm like, okay, hold on. And then for whatever reason, there was like a juniors division, and I was like, who's here? Uh, who who is here and is nine years old? And there's all these little kids. There's like probably like seven or eight of these kids, and they all raise their hand. And I'm like, okay, oh, hold on. And then I, I I had my clipboard, and I remember going, could I get all the little kids to line up? So then all these kids like line up in the front of the store, and I'm like, all right, how old are you guys? And all of them all at once go nine. And I was like, oh yeah, it's the age nine division. Which is like the most bizarre thing, because why would you have only two divisions, adult and very specifically age nine? <laughs> like not the junior division, just you have to be nine. And uh, I remember feeling like so much anxiety because there was the, the group of like 40 adults or 30 adults that are looking at me like waiting, like we want to get to play a magic, you know, we should have started by now. And I'm dealing with these kids and I'm like, God, what information do I need from them? I know that they're nine and I've write it down I've, I've written down like they're nine and like that's it. <laughs> and then I woke up and I had to pee and I was like, God, I'm really glad that's not real because I was trying to figure out like how do I deal with this? Before you talked about like the kids will said like sounds like something that's actually happened to me. <laughs> I mean it's um like like uh a, our old comic shop is definitely the type of place that I feel like in, in the heat of the moment they would ask you to do something like that. Mm -hmm. But they, they would probably give you more to work with than get this going, <laughs> I gotta do something. But that was how my, that was how my dream went. Um, and that's, that's unusual for me because I don't, I don't often remember dreams. So I was excited to remember something even if it was um, a little odd. Dishwash, Dishwad said, age nine is when magic skill peaks. Scientific fact. It's possible. It's totally possible. Chess says, I've been to some stores that treat their tournament runners like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, Kepi. You wanna come up here? I think he's put off by your toast. I mean, that's rude. He's like, something doesn't smell right over there. I'm not sure what that is, but it, something ain't smelling quite quite okay over there. We got um, uh, 600 bits from uh, Existential Joker. Uh, thank you, Existential Joker, for that. And uh, also, uh, Dishnet gifts a sub to to William, to King Sal. So William, is, uh, William now has access to all of the wonderful toast emojis. So, and Peggy. Um, Oh God and Peggy. Um, thank you, Dishnet. That was <laughs> That's kind. how it should always be referred to. Oh God and Peggy. <laughs> oh Peggy, bless you for for existing. Also have a subscription from Laser Thirty Five. Um, thank you all. Uh, Where well, is Kepi? Did he go up the cat tree? He did. Because people soared, are posting yeah, Kepi. Yeah, he emotes. soared right up there. He said he's got stuff to do. He's got things to accomplish today. Little Kepi things. I guess. Very important Kepi things. There's Peggy. Peggy there Peggy, is Peggy. Peggy showed up. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure exactly when we're going to get uh, extra life VODs posted, but um, if you missed the earlier conversation like a week ago, those VODs are safe. <laughs> Thomas says guys, only one Peggy at a time. <laughs> Too many Peggy. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's true, it, like, uh, two Peggies would be too many Peggies, um... One Peggy is almost I, too many Peggies as it is. Yeah. Fortunately, we also have Todd. Yeah. We have Todd. Yeah, I'm excited for the VODs. Um, I'm not exactly sure when those are gonna come out, but it might be... I, I bet it's gonna be January, to be honest. I, I think it's probably gonna be January till they're posted. There's a lot of other stuff we want to post. If yeah. things get really ahead, they might get posted early, but that, I think it'll probably be January. <laughs> well, says what, Peggy? <laughs> the emote that's flooding the chat. Peggy's hard to explain. It's a bit of an experience. If you're horrified, that's the correct emotion. Yeah. It's you know, I'm not really sure what it's going to be. Um, it's breakfast. It's breakfast again. 
Is so it Will? If did Will Bain cause it to be breakfast? I think so. I think so too. Let me let me go look over here. Yeah, Will Bain sends um, uh, twenty seven hundred bits. Very specifically, I should give the specific number: <laughs> two thousand seven hundred and forty one bits, which is which is a, a lot. Thank you, Will, to make it breakfast again. Will caused Will caused breakfast. I'm not sure if like if you add up the number of bits that that Will has submitted, if it if it equals like some cryptic code. Like maybe there's treasure. There's like treasure buried somewhere, and we have to like figure out how the numbers correspond to a to map coordinates. Maybe not. I might be overthinking that. But will I appreciate it? Thank you. Also, while I'm on this page, uh, Murmur uh, does it again. Uh, yay for two months. Love watching you guys. Thanks, Murmur. And also, uh, Crunchy Face does it again. And we've got a, a new subscription from St is that Steina Might? Or Steiniumite. No idea. It just it made me think of uh, the old the old show where the guy goes Steiniumite. That was his catchphrase. It's a good catchphrase. It probably doesn't work so well with other explosives, but dynamite, you know. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Give me that C four. Doesn't really have. People are talking about Chaz points. <laughs> are we supposed to keep track of our Chaz points? Because I don't know how many I have. Mm, yeah, if you don't keep track of them, you lose them. But Chaz has such a good, like, were you gonna spreadsheet say, ability. Oh, I thought you were going to say he has such a good memory. He should keep track of my tra Chaz points. I mean, yeah, yeah that too. <laughs> Chaz should be doing this. <laughs> hmm. I lost three Chaz points for forgetting. No. Yeah, that's. I think that's how it works. Sorry. Check your Chaz app. Okay, Thomas. Do you want to bite of this? No. No. No, I'm serious. No, I'm not at all. <laughs> like, just a small bite? Chap. No, not a small bite at all. Is it really that gross to you? Like, is it is it gross or are you just, like, full? <laughs> no, it's gross. <laughs> but you love pesto. Chaz gave me .17 Chaz points to make it hard to remember. It seems easier to remember. I just don't understand why this is so gross. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. I don't know. When I wake up in the morning, some things just make my stomach turn. And that's one of them. Do you wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy? Gotta make pesto toast at home because they don't sell it in the city. You remember that song? Just eat your toast. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm trying a new coffee today, too. Are you? Mm-hmm. I have a ah, noisette. You mean hazelnut? Yeah. Um, uh, today I'm trying uh, Newman's own organic medium roast, all proceeds to charity coffee. And it might have, like, other titles. I don't know. The label... I'm surprised they could fit that much information on the little K-cup lid, but, um... <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, this is a good point. Uh, Danny Kitty says, coffee and pesto blah. Yeah, I don't, didn't really thought... I didn't really think that through. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Let's try. It's fine. It's, um... <laughs> pesto, more like pest. No, am I right? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, mm, you know, <laughs> it's not, it's not what I would call the ideal pesto flavor. Pesto Coffee. Flavor. <laughs> well, Bane sends another 2,033 bits, continuing to play with my head. Well, so this is why you have bathroom issues. <laughs> well, Bane, thank you. Um, I'm not convinced about this treasure map thing not being real. Um, I'm gonna figure out these totals. <laughs> Cause I'm very confused. Don't you need two numbers to be coordinates? Well, maybe they all correspond to coordinates, Mel. We don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Also, I would highly recommend maybe, maybe like don't. Mix pesto and coffee? You know what this would be good with is like tea. Like sweet tea or unsweet tea, okay. any sort of tea, cold tea, cold brew tea. I would really like some tea. Mm, I think I have some. Uh. 
It sounds sweet. Did you tell them? No. Did they know? No. Steven is defected. I haven't defected, like, completely. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you said maybe don't have pesto for breakfast? That might solve your issue. Shut up. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm an adult. Um, the, um, yeah, I actually, I started to drink uh, unsweet tea, which is uh, wild, but... Um, <laughs> William's a southern card revolt. <laughs> no! And I mean, I still like sweet tea, but um, I, I drink sweet tea, like, pretty consistently. Uh-huh. And um, it was like a week or so ago, we were at the restaurant, and I was like, I'm going to get on sweet tea. And Mal was like, who are you? And I was like, you know... It used to be a long time ago that I couldn't even I couldn't even drink it. I could not yeah. physically drink. I just didn't like the taste of it. Mm -hmm. But it's been a few years, and I I drink coffee black, and that bitterness is like I'm used to that. So whenever I start drinking unsweet tea, I was like, this is fine. It's basically it's tea, but yeah. it doesn't have the sugar. So uh, at this point, I'm just kind of doing like whatever. Like, I, I, sometimes I get unsweet. Sometimes if I'm like, no, I want something. <laughs> <laughs> William says, I can't even be in the same room as it. Disgusting. <laughs> you can hear William saying that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can I can do both now. Um, and I, sometimes I want one or the other. And I still have ordered, uh, you know, sweet tea. But uh, sometimes I'm ordering unsweet, which is, it is a little weird for me, but I, you know, I would want to make cold brew tea. Yeah. And coffee. I really like it. I'm down for that. That would be good. I need to like get something to figure, do that. I can use those ball jars I just got. You could. I could. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I wanted them. Secretly to make cold brew coffee? Maybe. Because sometimes I like research things and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I need to get this for that. But then I got them for a different reason, but I couldn't remember the original reason. Okay. Must be it. Well, if you decide to make cold brew coffee, I will I will drink it. Mm hmm I love cold brew coffee. Chess says, now that you drink coffee black, you could actually appreciate Jeff's coffee instead of being sad about the lack of sugar. I mean... I've been drinking coffee black for a few years. And Will says, have you tried Milo's tea? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we've actually had, um, we've had Milo's tea from a Milo's. Yeah, but also, like, when Stephen was in college, Alex would bring it from Birmingham because it's mm -hmm. based in Alabama. Yeah, Milo's tea is good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Yeah. I, yeah, I want to make it pretty clear that, like, I haven't stopped drinking sweet tea. I'm not like, I can't drink the sugar. It's too sweet for my palate. It's not. It's not. Like, load me up. He just realizes put it in he my probably veins. shouldn't drink so much. Yeah. I, I was I was like, eh, I'm probably object. Like, if we go out for, for food somewhere, um, a lot of times I'll, I'll just get sweet tea. And I was like, eh, I should probably, like, cool it on that, so. Trouble Night Fox says, do you guys have David's Tea in South Carolina? Not that I know of. That doesn't sound familiar. I think there's one in Charlotte. But I really like David's. I have ordered from them before. <laughs> Chad says, don't assume you can drink sugary beverages. I know the rest, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. And honestly, when I went for my, my blood work oh, yeah. back in May, uh -huh. my sugar was fine. So technically, I can continue to eat all the garbage I have always have. Um, but, you know, I... Need I've, to cool it. Yeah, I decided on, it might be, you know, try and stuff. Mm -hmm. tone it down a little bit sometimes. I also drink a lot of water, so. Yeah. But I like tea. I like, who doesn't like tea? Tea, great. Speaking of blood work, you get some on Monday. When you say it like that, it sounds Hooray! like I'm getting some blood. <laughs> Speaking of blood work, you get some. I ha I will have blood work done on Monday. That's the six month. They, they set it up, apparently. It's very common for them to set this up where they do the blood work mm -hmm. before Thanksgiving. Because if they tested your blood after Thanksgiving, they'd, everyone would just be like, you're, you're gonna die. I'm excited because I wanna see what the results say. 
because <laughs> it's almost like that's why you would have blood work done. You had the blood work done, and it was like, whoa, your cholesterol. So I'm really curious to see, um, based on the diet changes you've made in these past like six months, mm -hmm. like what it is now. No, me too. Yeah, I'm. To see if your diet has done anything. No, I'm I'm super excited. Oh, there's a there's a train. There is a train. There's a train pulling into the station. Holy crap. Alxame, as I'm choking down my last bite of toast, has gifted subs. I believe it is ten subs. Here come the the ten subs to Lux, Milidus, Swift Chaos, Master Halls. I'm literally still chewing this toast. Hold on. <laughs> now we're good. Uh, SGA1 AC3. Uh, Zach Chillman, Snyder, and one. Uh, three sided coin, Noxios 10. Programming and more by Corey B. <laughs> I love that. It sounds like an like a infomercial. Uh, and Icy Ina. Thank you, XMA. That was uh, extremely, uh, extremely nice. And we also have uh, Andy Gibbard doing it again. Being from England, all this tea chat is rather triggering. <laughs> yeah, I guess, um, I guess uh, if. If you're not used to how we do tea, and you're used to how literally the rest of the world does tea, <laughs> then it might be uh, a little, a little different. Definitely a little different. Someone earlier had asked about favorite types of tea. I really like herbal teas, especially fruit things. So lemon tea, or like I get the celestial. Are they celestial teas? The ones without the strings. There's like a variety pack of like. Blueberry and raspberry. I get mm -hmm. that. Those are my favorite, but I do like green tea. Hmm. I don't really like black tea. I like everything. I know. I really do. Like, I, I, I'm so glad that I do because for the longest time I spent my life um, <laughs> miserable, enjoying nothing. Um, but now I've I've been able to to really branch out and try new things and love new things. And you kind of went through like this taste revolution mm -hmm. in your life. Yeah. Yeah, before I was before I was 18 years old, I, I uh, consisted on a diet that was uh, solely chicken nuggets and Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Um, <laughs> and that was it. And then uh, I ate more food. And it was great. And now I love food. And beverages and such. So, yeah, I've... Uh, and you're still getting there on things, like pie. Yeah, there's some things that, like, I don't know. It's For me, at this point, it's a lot of texture things are just mm -hmm. like, what is this? What's happening? But, but you know, otherwise, like, things are good. Things, I, I really like food. Mm -hmm. Food is uh, food is really good. What, what were we talking about right before? Just for, there was something I was saying, but now I don't remember what it was. I don't know. It was important, but now it's not important. <laughs> so it's fine. Lobro says, you don't like pie? No, I, I do, well, I wouldn't put me in like a pie category, but that's Oh, that's I'm like in the pie category. Token, yes, uh, blood work and diet. Yeah, thank you, Toku. Um, uh, yeah, what, what, what was I gonna say about that? Pie, you're not- I was not, oh, I was gonna say that I'm, I am very excited for the, the results because um, one of the things I wanted to mention is that I tried very specifically to not go overboard on the changes that I made in my diet. Because mm -hmm. that was, because right when it started in May. You totally messed up their name. <laughs> well, I said Toku. Toku, I didn't say the last part. Toku Newt. Toku Newt. Thank you. Um, the, uh, You're yeah, excited about the results. Yeah, because in May, when, when I first got the, the initial results, I was like, oh God, I gotta make these changes or I'll die. And then like, after that, mm -hmm. um, I was kind of like, you know, frantic about it. Yeah. But then I kind of fell into, like, there were changes, but it wasn't like super extreme that I couldn't keep with it. Yeah. They so were I, things I made, you could live with. I, I made lifestyle yes. differences, like mm -hmm. lifestyle changes. And that's where I've, I've been. And as we've gotten closer to this date, I actually talked to Mal about it. It's like, you know, should I try and ramp it up right yeah before. should i try and mm -hmm. ramp it up right before and we decided that we actually um shouldn't mm -hmm. because i want it to be a good representation of how i'm actually living like i don't want it to be like oh two weeks before i went crazy and i ate nothing bad and look how good my numbers are because then that's not going to be like how i'm actually 
doing things. So I've tried to, you know, just make better choices here and there, and um, I'm hoping it does something, you know, and if it doesn't, then it'll just be like, okay, you know, it's hereditary, and I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, Danny, yeah, I can send you that. Um, send me a message somewhere, and I'll send that to you. You have multiple, you know ways to contact me. <laughs> send me a message somewhere. It was Danny. Danny with like 10, 10 A's? I think it's eight. I counted once. Did you count once? I did. Uh, I'm, uh, speaking of Danny, I'm gonna go ahead and run the Patreon ticker. Names are scrolling along the bottom of the screen now. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about Patreon, uh, there's usually a link that magically appears in the uh, chat that I don't control, but mods know how to make it do. There it goes. Thank you, Bailey. Um, uh, Patreon.com slash Stephen George or Mal Makes. You can learn more about how you can support Mal and myself and the perks that come along with it. Thank you to all of our, uh, all of our patrons. And uh, also, thank you to our Twitch supporters. There's been so many, uh, there's been so much support just like today. Yeah. It's been it's been an amazing breakfast. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you again to Will Bain who continues to confuse my brain with with what must be treasure map coordinates. All of the bits are not round numbers. Uh, Will Will cheers uh, 717 bits. Thank you, Will. I do appreciate all of the support you've given us. Um, I mean, over the last few months, but then especially like t t today, <laughs> I, I sincerely appreciate it. And we also have a subscription from Shingo1, and Bexyish does it again. I did it again. Bexy flail. Um, yeah, I, you, know, you know, it's actually bad that I woke up so early. Yeah. You know why? now you're tired. Well, I was going to be, I was going to be tired no matter what if you don't get a full night's rest. But it, you know, specifically the reason uh -huh. is that I woke up. And I was going to get a shower after breakfast stream, but uh -huh. I was like, I'll just get a shower now because I'm up and I need to use time because of what's happening in my life. Mm -hmm. So I, I got a shower mm -hmm. and I got, a, or before I got in the shower, I turned the heat up. Yeah. And I got a shower and I got out. So I'm hot from like the, the shower uh -huh. and the heat was on and I put on long pants and now I have this cat that's been on me for 30 minutes and it's just really it's warm. It's a warm cat. Mm -hmm. So the reason that things are bad is that it's warm. See, I'm cold. I have a blanket on my knees, and Kepi is not here. Is, is it Kepi's fault? It's Kepi's if, fault. If, if only Kepi would have been around. Um, Kepi, he's asleep. He's asleep. He's so asleep. He's very asleep. Uh, can we see Lap Cat? I can't show you Lap oh, Cat. Oh, just lift him up. He'll be fine. That. He's so cute. That's hard to do. <laughs> and I might be able to show you the other one if I just go. <laughs> Kepi. <laughs> He's a good boy. All right, folks. Uh, that is going to be it for today. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, that is breakfast. Uh, on Tuesday, we'll be back at 9 a.m. Um, I, I do have the blood work next Monday, but I won't have the results the next day, so no. it'll probably be another week. But um, I'll be able to at least tell you how that goes, I guess, on Tuesday. Um, otherwise, vlogs are caught up! If you didn't already know that, uh, Steam Vlogs caught up. Um, when I finish doing, when I finish this stream, I need to go edit yesterday's vlog so we can stay caught up, but we're, we're caught up. Uh -huh. um, I'm gonna be, you know, I still have a, a, a ton of other things to do, but it feels good that at least the vlogs are caught up for right now, so. And I I, 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 I firmly believe that they'll stay caught up or within just a few days. Um, Feels like nothing's until, happening. Until the rest of the, for the rest of the year, yeah. because there's there's not a whole lot going on. Mm -hmm. And uh, November marches on, which means the continuation of No Shave November. And actually, I've, I've, I've had a lot of, um, <laughs> bless your soul, I've had a lot of, um, uh, people reaching out to me and letting me know that they kind of have similar facial hair where like they it's patchy it doesn't come in very well they said really it's time they said if you give it enough time it can actually come in fuller and I appreciate that uh, that the boat of, of confidence I don't know if I'm gonna wait out 
the entire thing. Uh, uh, I, yeah, because... I might shave it once December gets here. Um, oh, this I was is thinking mostly... you have a thing you need to do. Oh yeah, there is. There's also there is actually there is. Uh, oh, wow, William says you're doing no shave. I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, that's basically the 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 sentiment here. Um, yeah, there's a, a, com a, a like a commercial, like a, a yeah. funny a funny video that we need to produce um, probably pretty soon, and I don't really want to look like this in it. So there's a chance I actually may have to shave a little sooner. So. But uh, at least you know what 15 days looks like. <laughs> and uh, with any luck, I will st I'll still have this on Tuesday. But we'll see. Anyway. All right. Uh, that is it for today. Thank you, folks, for watching. And uh, have a good day. We'll see you on Tuesday at 9 a.m. for more Breakfast Stream. <laughs>